Alright guys, now we're going to talk about a very important and very common table calculation in Tableau. It is the running total. The running total is going to go and sum all the values as they progress over the time. For example, in this view, we can track the performance of our business, where we can go and compare the three different categories of our products, where we can see here the development or the progress of customers and as well the orders, in order to quickly understand whether our business is growing or declining. So now if you compare in this view with those three categories, you can see that the office supplies is growing very fast if you compare it to the two others. So as you can see, using the running total in our view, help us to understand the progress, the performance of our business. So now let's go and understand how this function works in Tableau. Okay guys, so how the running total calculation works, it's gonna go and add each value to the sum of all previous values. Let's have an example in order to understand it. We have over here the months and the sales as well, and we want to build the running sum. So we start with the first value, so we are currently at the first row and since we don't have any previous sum of values it's going to be exactly the same value so the calculation going to be the current running total going to equal to the sales value so that means in the output we're going to get exactly the same value 2607 moving on to the next month to the february so currently we are at this level at the sales 523 and the previous running total going to be the old one from january so now in order to get the running total for february it's going to be simply adding those two values so we are adding the sales value plus the previous total run and with that we will get 2590 so as you can see we are simply adding the current sales with the previous running value so let's move to the next month we have a new current we have the 6422 and we're gonna add it again here to the previous running total so we have again the same formula and with that we are gonna get 9013 so as you can see we are just adding the current sales with the previous running total from the previous month so we can proceed and progress our table until we reach the last one it's gonna be exactly the same so we are currently at December and this is our current value we're gonna go and add it to the previous running total from the previous month November until we're gonna get the last value and with that we have the final value for the total run as you can see we build like a progress or development of the sales over the months so this is how the calculation of the running total works let's go back to Tableau in order to learn how to create it and build the visualization using the running total Okay, so let's start with the big data source and let's go to the products. Here we're gonna get our category to the rows and then we need the date. So we're gonna get the order dates from the table orders and put it on the columns. We need it as a continuous month. So right click on it and then let's switch it to this option over here. Now we need the measures because we are tracking the progress of customers. We want the count of customers. So we're gonna go to the customers over here and let's grab this measure customers count and put it in the view and now we're going to go and change the visual from a line to bar so we're going to go to the marks over here and change it to bar so now we have here the total number of customers for each month we still don't have the running total in order to do that it's very simple we're going to go and use the quick table calculations it is the easiest one so right click on the customers over here and then let's add quick table calculations and simply here the running total let's go there so now we can see that tableau converted to running totals for each category and we can see immediately that the progress of customers in the office supplies is the best so as you can see it's very simple what we are missing now is the count of orders the number of orders so let's go and get our second measure it's going to be the orders count and let's grab it and put it near the customers over here but as you can see, both of the measures are very similar. So we have to change the visual for the orders in order to understand the differences between the two measures. So how to do that? If you go to the marks over here, you can see we have three sections. The first one is all. That means anything that I'm going to configure over here, it's going to affect everything, both of the measures. But now since we want to change the visual only for the orders, we're going to switch the marks to the orders. So let's click on that. In this tab now, I'm configuring the running total of the orders. So instead of bar, I would like to have it as a line and if you go to the colors over here we can add this dotted line in order to see like the differences between the months and i can reduce as well the opacity in this line all right so now the next step we're gonna go and change the colors because both of them are blue so let's go to all and let's grab from the left side the measure names so let's go and put it over here on the colors the next thing that we can do is to merge those two axes for each category into one so i would like to have only one axis in order to do that let's go to the orders right click 
click on it and here we have an option called dual access so what it's gonna do it's gonna merge those two axes into one so let's go and click on it so now as you can see we got only one axis for each category we don't have any more the split between two axes so now we have it only in one view so now we can see that we got only one axis for each category we don't have any more the split between the two measures everything in one so now we can see that the axes are on the left and on the right the next step what we usually do is but not always is to go and synchronize those axes so right click on it and we have here the option synchronize axis so with us both of the axes are at the same level we can go now and hide the right one because it is useless to have the same information twice on the left and on the right so i will go and hide the header from the right side and maybe we can go and get rid of those informations that we have on the axis so go and edit the axe and we can go and remove the title so that's it it's close i'm just minimizing the information that we have inside one view so that's it as you can see now we can track the progress of the customers and orders by the category using the function that is very commonly used the running total